today we're going to show you how to move from Papercut NG to Papercut MF. We've currently got NG installed and it's a fairly basic install and we've got the installers for NG and MF on my desktop. And we've also got a couple of web pages open uh, that should come in handy. Uh, they're both on the Papercut knowledge base. Moving from one edition of Papercut to another is the first one and it basically goes through the process in a fair amount of detail. In short, you take a backup, uninstall Papercut NG, install Papercut MF, and restore from the backup. So, sounds pretty simple, and it is. There's uh, a few command lines to run for the uh, import, but nothing too confusing. So, we'll start off with we'll load up the Papercut admin interface, we'll log in, and this is uh, my current Papercut install. Nothing too big, just got one user that's done some print jobs and we've got some shared accounts with a sub account as well nothing too special either and on the printers there will be some activity on some of them so as you can see here and here and that's about it okay so we think we're running the latest version of Papercut we're on yeah, 11.5 and it was released early October so the first thing let's do is take a backup Papercut obviously does this automatic backups, plus you should be taking backups anyway. So we'll run a backup. Okay, this little window will pop up and confirm where the backup file went and if everything was okay, which it was. Okay, we will go there now. And we're just going to rename this backup file to something a little similar. Oh, no capsules, hold on. Backup. That's it. Uh, excuse the prompts, it's uh, 2008 being protected. I'm just going to chuck that in my temp folder so I don't forget where it is. Okay, so now I've got a backup, and I think that backup file is only small, it's about 20k. There, there you go. And as I say, it's only got a few logs in it. So the next step is to remove paper cut. So let me just refresh this and uninstall and that's just going to uh, remove papercut ng from my uh, 2008 virtual machine a little survey pop up ask me why on earth I would want to remove it there you go, confirm the messages ok, so the next step as per the article is to actually Installed a new version, so we've done one, two, three, four, five here, and it's basically just said make sure you've got backups, double check you've got backups, and triple check. Okay, so we run the MF installer, we run it as an admin to make sure everything goes well. We set the license agreement, and we just blitz through the uh, install. The reason the uh, it all detected that the MF folder was uh, this is a test server, and it's had Papercut MF installed before, so the folder structure was already there. So this is just going to extract the files it needs, start monitoring the printing. Should add a shortcut on the desktop any second now. There you go. And when this is finished, it will prompt me to open up the admin interface and start configuring Papercut. this there you go the two up paper cut services okay I'm gonna create a password and then we'll change the uh, location to United Kingdom I need to change the system locale really I'll just click education for now to say these options don't really matter for now 10 and we'll call it 100. Yep, we'll import all users. Uh, it's going to wander off and check Active Directory. Hopefully, port 6, maybe 7 users. And there you go, import 6 users, and we'll click login. So, this will basically just be a fresh install. Nothing has happened. It doesn't know about any print jobs or shared accounts, and you see. Nothing in the printers, nothing in the shared accounts apart from the template account, which is always there. And the users, 
there's nothing logged against them and my internal user is missing okay so next step as per the article is to go and read how to restore uh, in this case we're using the internal database so we'll look at that so restore from a backup which is this section it's pretty simple the most important thing here is to stop the paper cut application server if you don't do that it will just end in tears so yeah, we'll stop that that shouldn't take too long and then the next thing is we need to open up a command prompt in the uh, windows folder so paper cut mf server bin win folder and we're going to cheat here because we've already got that path in notepad ready to copy and paste to save some time so command pump run as an admin and cd paste that create that center that will open up that and we need to reinitialize the database so we'll just copy and paste that command paste that hit enter that will just confirm the well, basically what it's going to do in the version of paper cut we have to press y to confirm it it will wander off do its thing okay that's done and the next job is to obviously import so we're going to run much the same command but this time we're going to tell it about the backup.zip file we've got in our c temp folder as you can see there it is c temp backup.zip so we're going to copy and paste this this is basically just running db tools and the import database command and it's going to import that zip so we're going to paste that into there and we hit enter and it will just confirm is this what you want to do this is the version that's the type of database blah 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 press yes to continue so if we press y and then hit enter it will import the information all the different logs and the config files and successfully import the data which is a good sign okay and that's just seeing what it's imported if you've got a very large database that will take a few minutes next step then is to restart the application server so we'll wander off into the services function click it and we'll click start that will start okay and if we log back into papercut mf we should hopefully see some of our information as you can see straight away on the dashboard there the total pages it has something so that's a good sign users there you go my user who did the uh, copying jobs I've got my internal user back I've got my shared accounts back and my printers hopefully have their log files there you go jobs logged against them and we'll just check the app log for any nasty errors and as you can see there that seems fine so uh, that's it moving from NG to MF bye bye